fact scientists have said that the destruction of nature is even more harmful and can threaten human life more than any global warming or any crisis like even the pandemic or anything that we have right now biggest problem is exploiting nature and biodiversity in india like in any other country uh, the problem is not with the laws it's due to its poor communication poor implementation and poor enforcement of these laws illegal wildlife trade is also often unsustainable harming large populations of wild plants and animals and pushing endangered animals towards extinction Trade has always been a part of economic development. It may be a boon to the economy, but you know when living creatures are involved, like animals or human trafficking, it's like a curse of hell. Some forms of trade, especially like that of animals, could be way beyond limits and very much inhuman. Tearing the animal away from its original habitat is highly deniable. Over the years, the illegal wildlife trade has emerged as one of the most organized transnational crimes. that have affected many 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 species across the globe even in india there are diverse products like orangutan hair snake skin rhino horns elephant tusks uh, leopard and tigers claws their bodies the list just goes on and on why do people covet these species you know species like the asian otters or the squirrels and monkeys or you know the african grey parrots or even uh, like the macaws There have been demand for pets, or few of the other exotic animals. Meat might be in demand for delicacy. The rarer the animal, the people's greed in order to eat it or not to convert it into a product like leather or fur is greater. It's just pathetic and ridiculous, but that's that's the truth. Illegal wildlife trade is also often unsustainable. harming large populations of wild plants and animals and pushing endangered animals towards extinction endangered animals and plants are often the target for wildlife trading because of their rarity and increased economic values furthermore wildlife trading also has a negative impact on the country's um, natural resources thousands of wildlife species are threatened each year because of these unsustainable and illegal wildlife trade For example in recent months the uh, attention of media is towards the plight of the rhinoceros species which are facing increased poaching as demands for their horns increase in Asia skins of animals like crocodiles or giraffes may be used for making rugs and bed sheets or for leather products we're going to link the video on uh, leather industry over here uh, please check it out even the plants you know like so many plants are cut just for making a piece of furniture or ornaments disregarding the benefits that a tree gives an estimated 4 billion people rely on natural medicine for health care medicines whose ingredients come from nature and could be destroyed due to loss of biodiversity india has also framed a strong legal policy framework to regulate and restrict wildlife trade trade in over 1800 species of plants and animals and its derivatives has been restricted under the wildlife protection act 1972 it is also the leading cause for the planet's accelerating biodiversity crisis and the ecosystem collapse in india like in any other country uh, the problem is not with the laws it's due to its poor communication poor implementation and poor enforcement of these laws now often good efforts to address wildlife trade concerns are undermined due to political will and governance failures without political backing this incentives for over exploitation and illegal trade such as penalties for uh, legal infringements are all offered to weak fact scientists have said that the destruction of nature is even more harmful and can threaten human life more than any global warming or any crisis like even the pandemic or anything that we have right now the biggest problem is exploiting nature and biodiversity we depend on nature for everything our survival depends on good food clean drinking water proper clean air to breathe and you know proper weather all of this all of this depends on a healthy ecosystem and when that is destroyed 
everything else will be destroyed as well